Now we have the last but not the least on the admin side configuration of our record level security, which is nothing but our manual sharing. So the fourth requirement is at times the ABC company might have some ad hoc request wherein which they have to enable the access for different users. Let's say technician Sam has to share a record with technician Jack or the top management want to give an access to one record to multiple people. So how that can be done. So in addition to that, ABC company has also a requirement that this request that we have should not always go to an admin. The users who have that record access should be able to do it. So this is another point that we need to keep in mind. Now, sometimes it is difficult to define a consistent group of users who needs an access to a particular set of records. So ad hoc requests are something that comes up on the fly. We do not have a consistent behavior of it. So it is very difficult for us to configure that. So it, it depends on a scenario to scenario to whom to share, when to share, why to share. It depends on scenario to scenario. So it is difficult to configure as a permanent change. So this manual sharing, you can think of it as a temporary change that we are doing. So this is a point that matches our requirement. If you see, the record owners can use this manual sharing to give the read and edit permissions to the user who do not have access any other way. So if you see, we have OWT to share those records. We have the role hierarchy. We have the sharing rules. If none of them is giving access to this user, that is where we can go ahead with the manual sharing. Manual sharing isn't automated like organization by default role hierarchy or sharing rules we have to explicitly configure that change so that is why it is called as manual sharing you depending on the requirement that you have you would manually share these records for the other owd if you set it once it automatically calculates and decides who should be seeing those records and who should not same goes with your role hierarchy same goes with your sharing rules as well and last but not the least point that we have is it gives the record owners the flexibility to share those records with the users that must see them. So as a record owner, I have the ability to share that record to the people who need to see it, not just a system administrator. In addition to that, top management can also share this record with the user who needs that. A simple example for this manual sharing is, let's say technician uh, Sam fell sick. He has realized that he is sick. So he has dropped a mail to the manager saying that tech manager, I'm feeling sick today, so I would like to take a day off. So manager has approved that request. Tech Sam has to attend one of the service requests that he wants. So he has to attend to this one. So since this technician Sam is not feeling well, the service request that he owns is kept on waiting. So the customer cannot wait just because technician Sam is sick. So what the manager needs to do is in order to satisfy the customer, he has to assign the service request to somebody else. So who comes to the rec rescue? Technician Jack comes to the rescue. So does he have access to this record? The answer is no. The record is not being shared with him. So now what we can do, we can go ahead and manually share this records. These are some kind of an ad hoc request that comes in because we will never know when would a technician Sam would fell sick and when would technician Jack need some additional help. So this is all something that comes up on ad hoc request and this people should be able to have an ability to share those records with the other set of people so that they can work on them without waiting for a additional help from an admin. So let's see from the table how this uh, manual sharing would look like. So now if you see this table, technician Jack has this records from the sharing rules. He has two records, sharing rules, role hierarchy and OWD. Together he has Two records as of now. Now, technician Sam has two records from OWD record hierarchy and sharing rules. Whereas manager with the help of sharing rules and the role hierarchy has five records. Finance analyst, we got five records from the sharing rules that we have done. And system administrator by default has all the record level of access that are there in the system, right? With the view all and modify all. Now let's say technician Sam is on a sick leave. The record that he owns, one plus one, one of the record needs immediate assistance. What would the, the technician Sam would do is he would drop an email to the manager saying that his sick leave manager would have the ability to share that record. Record owner can also share this record or an admin. Admin can also share this record with the jack. So now if you see from the manual sharing earlier, there were only two records that the technician Jack owns. Now what is happening is one record that is coming in from Sam is also visible to this technician Jack. The number of records that the technician Jack sees right now is three. 
So this is done with the help of manual sharing. I'm logging in as my admin, SFDC admin. So now if I have to do that manual sharing from the admin perspective, what I need to do is I need to identify which record needs to be shared, right? So this is my list of records that an admin can see. As of now, I'm acting the role of an admin. So I see six records. Let's say SR006 is a record that I wanted to share from Sam to the Jack. As of now, Jack doesn't see any records. So let's quickly check it from the Jack perspective as well. So how many records that he sees. On the Jack's uh, screen, we see currently see two records. Now, what we'll do is we'll enable the manual sharing where which we'll share this record from admin to this Jack. So let's do that. So I'm currently again on the admin screen. So this is the record that I wanted to share with Jack. So I can click on this record. Click on this drop down where in which you see this sharing button. Earlier, the sharing was enabled only in classic. Now it is enabled in lightning as well. So click on the sharing button, a pop-up comes up. So as an admin, I'm sharing this record. So decide the user to whom you want to share it. So from the drop down, you can decide to whom you want to share it. You have again, public groups, users, roles, and the roles and subordinate. Depending on your requirement, you would go ahead and select the user. So now as per our requirement, we wanted to share this record with Jack. So I'll quickly go ahead and search for the Jack name here. So I got the name of my user whom I wanted to share it with. So technician Jack is something that I wanted to share it with. Now comes the access level. So what is the level of access that we wanted to give it to him? So whether you want to give it as a read-only access or a read-write depends on your requirement. So as of now, I would like to give it as a read access. So I've selected the read access and if you can click on save, that is where a manual sharing would be created. So it's a temporary sharing. So let's see whether the same option is enabled for our manager also. So I'm logging in as my manager. As of now, I've not created the manual sharing from the admin perspective. The idea is to tell you that we can do it from the manager level, admin level, and also the record owner can do it. So now I am on the manager screen. If you see, I've logged in as my manager. I can see the SAM record that I wanted to share. Click on that record. And from this drop down, I can still see the sharing button. Click on that sharing. Search for the user to whom I wanted to share this record. Decide the access that I wanted to give. Finally, click on save. So this is from the manager's perspective. Let's see how we can do it from the user's perspective. And finally, revisit this concept from the manager's perspective. As of now, just an FII, we have not created the manual sharing. We are just looking at how it would look like for different, different users. Now I'm logged in as technician Sam here. Now I would like to create that sharing. So I wanted to share this record 006 with the technician Jack. So I can do it just by clicking on this drop down, click on sharing. So I can search for the user and decide the access that I want to give him and click on save. So three people can do it. The record owner, people above the role hierarchy of the current user who wants to share that record and also the system administrator can do it. Since it is a sick leave for the Sam, we cannot expect him to share it. So I'll be logging in as a manager here and I would like to share that record with the technician Jack. So this is a manager view. I'm logged in as this uh, tech manager here. I would like to share this record with the technician Jack. So I've selected the record, click on sharing and search for the technician Jack here. Right. So decide the access, whether you want to give it as a read access or read write access. I'm currently giving it as read only access here. Click on save. Share data for the technician is done. So that means this record as of now will also be visible to the technician Jack here. So now let's log in as Jack and see if there is a difference of uh, number of records that he sees and then we'll take it forward. Yes. So currently, currently I'm logged in as technician Jack here. If you see here, so this is technician Jack. So he currently sees two records. Now if I refresh the screen, that is where I'll be able to see three records coming in for technician Jack. So earlier there were two records that he can see because he owns that record. Now a manual sharing record is something that has been created. So if you remember, we have given the read access to this record. We have shared this record with the technician Jack here in terms of read only. So if I go ahead and edit it, if I go ahead and edit and say seven, or if I go ahead and edit and uh, say second uh, Sam record to edit, 
and click on save there would be an error that would be thrown by the system saying oops you do not have the necessary privileges to edit this record see your administrator for help even though the technician can edit this record he will not be able to save those changes because of the level of access that we have defined so the level of access that we have defined is the manual sharing as set to read so that is why the technician is not able to see that access here so if i wanted to know who all is able to see this record i can go ahead and i've currently logged in as my system administrator here right so if i wanted to know who all are like seeing this record i can click on this drop down click on sharing hierarchy this is how you can basically find out who is able to see this record so record number 6 is has been visible to four users and we can see the level of access here in case if you want to be precise and understand how it is been shared click on this view button so that way you will be able to get to know the reason why it has been shared with that particular user so if i if i click on the first link it says administrator reserve for sharing it as administrator the full, the access that is given to it is full access if i go on to the sharing hierarchy again if i wanted to look out for the tech manager and what is the reason why it has been given to him if you see it has been given to him because of the manager right the manager of the user because of that it is visible to him now if i go back to the the reason why the technician jack is able to say it it is because of the manual sharing that we have so last but not the least sam would have full access because he is the owner of that record this this way you can understand who is all able to see that record and what is the level of access and why they are able to see it 